So if you want a fast 24 hour Minecraft server that you don't need to set up or maintain, well carry on watching because this video is for you. So the guys I personally use to host my servers with is Apex Hosting and I will leave a link in the description if you are interested. I haven't actually had any issues with them so far and the reason why I keep using them today is because they're super easy to get set up and they don't actually ask for a lot either. So I'm going to show you how to get your server set up right now. So the first thing we need to do is go ahead and click on get started. Then it's going to take you to a page where you can choose your server plan. Now you can always change currency at the top here in case you need to. Now if you click on more package sizes, as you can see they've got plenty of plans on offer. However I recommend going with a 1GB server if you're planning on only hosting a basic server with a few friends that's purely vanilla. However if you want to host a few mod packs then I recommend going with a 2 or 3GB version or if you want to host a fully fledged out modded server, for example a bucket server, then I recommend go with a 4GB option at least. So all you need to do now is go ahead and choose your server package. Okay, so once you've chosen your server package and you've got it all configured and set up, you should then get an email that looks like this. Now this is going to be your server IP address, and then you're going to have two login details at the bottom. One of them is going to be for your billing account, which you won't need to visit often, and your second one is going to be a control panel, where you're basically going to be able to control the whole server from there, and it's very easy to use. Now bear in mind that this server IP address you've given here will be live immediately, so you can go ahead and log into your Minecraft server right now. However, if you do want to change these server properties, you will need to log into the back end of your server by clicking on the panel login button here. Now once you're on the back end of your server, it may look slightly overwhelming at first, but don't worry, it's actually really simple to use. And there is a knowledge base here at the side which should tell you how to do absolutely anything you want with very simple short videos. However, I'm just going to take you through the basics right now just so that you can get set up. So first things first, you can go ahead and start, stop and restart your server from here. And you can also go ahead and change your server name with the number of players here. If you want to change your world name, you can change that here. And if you want to go ahead and update your server or change the server version, you want to click on this drop down box here and select the server version you wish to run. Now if you want to go ahead and access the console, all you need to do is click on console at the top left here. And it's going to take you straight to the Minecraft server console, which you go ahead and type in commands at the bottom here, just like normal. And again, if you need help, there'll be some knowledge based videos here at the side. Now if you want to edit your server properties file, all you need to do is click on config files at the top left here. And then you want to go ahead and click on server settings at the top here, which will edit your server properties file. Of course there's more files you can edit just here as well. Now this is going to be your server properties, which you can go ahead and edit with these drop down boxes here. As you can see it's in the same order as a normal server properties, except it's a lot more user friendly than a normal notepad. Don't forget to save changes at the bottom here. And of course, this Minecraft server has been hosted on a server somewhere else and not your own computer. So if you want to go ahead and access your files just like you would on your own computer, you will need to go ahead and click on FTP file access in the top left here. Then you want to enter your password in this box here and click on login. Once you've logged in, all of your server files will be listed just as it would be on your computer. And you can go ahead and click on the file you want to edit and this will download it to your computer like normal. Go ahead and edit the file in a notepad and then re-upload it using the upload button here and this will change the file that you've just edited. So as you can see setting up a 24 7 Minecraft server is actually pretty simple and I've also shown you the basics as well so you should be able to do everything just from this video. But if you do have any comments just leave them below and I'll reply to you as soon as possible. So if this video is helpful please leave a like and pass on the someone who may find it helpful as well. Thank you for watching and have a good day.